Hello friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another tutorial on ISTQB Advanced Technical Test Analyst. We are done with three chapters of the syllabus. Now we are moving to chapter four, which is the quality characteristics for technical testing. And in this particular chapter, we'll be exploring more beyond what we are actually expecting being a technical test analyst to understand and explore more about non-functional parameters. In this chapter, we'll be covering a lot of non-functional uh, uh, parameters or quality characteristics which we need to be aware of being a technical test analyst and even from the point of certification. As a part of this chapter, we'll be covering introduction, of course, uh, which will be a part of this and this tutorial. 4.2 general planning issues, security testing, reliability testing, performance efficiency testing, maintainability testing, portability testing and compatibility testing. A lot of important yet important the non-functional parameters will be discussed in this chapter so make sure that you have complete understanding on these aspects as these are the key areas of the technical test analyst. To begin with we are getting started with introduction and in introduction we are talking about the basic information what you must know from the point of technical test analyst and what exactly is technical testing of quality characteristics. First of all in general of course we know it from the foundation already that non-technical or sorry the non-functional parameter or technical test analyst or testing is all about how the system behaves. Remember team from foundation in chapter 2 we have understood what is functional testing, what is non-functional testing and the same is being recalled here in order to understand that when you talk about functional it is all about what a system should do and once the system is ready we talk about how the system further behaves when we have different scenarios uh, given to the application when more number of people are working talking about data security and making sure that if the application can also be deployed in any other environment and many such factors which are related to the quality characteristics of an application in, in fact you know the testing of the non-functional parameters does not wait for a application to be ready because what if you uh, start talking about the non-functional parameters after system testing where the system is already functionally built and rectifying things or adding things into that would be quite complicated. So in the beginning itself you parameterize or you make sure or combine the different parameters of the non-functional aspects as well and then your design itself or the code uh, itself will include those features what you are looking forward to be included during the non-functional testing. So when you talk about performance testing, security testing, these uh, parameters will already, already be defined uh, right from the implementation phase, making sure the data is secured when someone is trying to log in into an application with a password which could be quite complicated for a person to you know handle at any point of time. The second thing is probably what if like 100 users comes and we talk about memory leaks, we talk about wild pointers, then these things do not wait for the system testing to happen and then evaluate. So these things can actually get evaluated right from the component testing or integration testing as well. So for example, during component testing of real time and embedded systems conducting performance efficiency benchmarking and testing resources usage is important. And yes, it can be conducted. For these kind of parameters, we don't really have to wait for a system to be ready, a UI to be developed and then start implementing that. No, you can do that much earlier in your life cycle. Even when you talk about specific uh, system under tests or applications, it includes various servers, clients, databases, databases, networks and other resources. Regardless of the test level which you're conducting, testing should be performed according to the risk priorities and the available resources. If you think you do have the infrastructure which is required to check these parameters which may come in future uh, in your testing life cycle, then you must accommodate them as early as possible in the life cycle. At the same time, we must make sure and understand that static testing or dynamic testing is not limited to functional. It can be very well applied to the non-functional as well. Now when you're talking about documenting the performance requirements, make sure that it is reviewed before it can be further used for deriving the scenarios and conducting dynamic testing. So yes, static testing is not limited to uh, 
functional levels which you learnt in foundation now you are in advanced and you're trying to explore the same thing here and we have already covered a lot of static approaches in the previous chapters for all the other quality characteristics and sub characteristics which we'll be looking at right now uh, the typical risk must be recognized it is really important for the technical test analyst to do the risk analysis and understand that what are the risk and complex areas and allocate the appropriate effort required in order to mitigate them and also address them or make sure that your risks are being covered in your test cases at the right point of time before they can surprise you. Quality characteristics testing requires particular attention of the life cycle timing. As we are right now talking about that lot of non-functional parameters can actually begin from the beginning right from the design phase itself then the life cycle timing and schedule really matters to one in order to determine what kind of activities we can do early and what kind of activities can be performed later when we have an application with us even if you talk about implementing them the same thing can happen talking about testing them the same thing must be considered some of these testing uh, like performance testing requires extensive planning dedicated equipment uh, specified tools specialized testing skills in most of cases significant amount of time as you know that the non-functional parameters are quite extensive and may require a lot of effort maybe probably high-end tools and infrastructure in order to organize and conduct them so technical test analyst must take the responsibility of making sure that everything is well arranged it is available in advance so that anyways it's going to take longer but if you can put them a little early in place then it will be quite easy to perform further in this particular segment of introduction we are also introducing you to what exactly is the responsibilities of the technical test analysts when it comes to quality characteristics I have also a separate playlist for test analysts where we have covered the other parameters. If you want to know anything about them, you can always hop into the text analyst playlist and look for that. But here in technical test analyst, what kind of uh, testing and quality characteristics are in our scope? So we have both the details here, the characteristics and sub characteristics. So for technical test analysts, reliability is the major uh, characteristic which includes maturity, fault tolerance, recoverability, availability. Additionally, we have performance efficiency like time behavior, resource utilization, capacity, maintainability which includes analyzability, modifiability, testability, modularity, reusability. Further, portability is another one which is adaptability, installability, replaceability. Security testing which is confidentiality, integrity, non-repudiation, accountability, authenticity and all these kind of things. And But it comes to compatibility, coexistence is only the one which falls under the technical test analyst but the second part of it is interoperability which is a functional parameter so it has been allocated to test analyst. Remember team, all these are called as your quality characteristics of our application and uh, some of them are allocated to test analyst that is it is more driven towards functional uh, side of uh, the application whereas the other ones are given to the technical test analyst as it is completely non-functional parameter so that's all from this particular tutorial team we are just getting introdu introduced to what exactly we'll be covering in chapter 4 and what is in our scope and then you will have something really interesting to explore right from tomorrow when we get into 4.2 and beyond the, with the other segments. So stay tuned for that and we'll be looking forward to have more interesting things to understand and for that do not miss any of the tutorials on this. Till then keep learning, keep exploring, keep understanding the context. Should you have anything else beyond this feel free to comment below. I'll be always there to address your queries and answer them well. Thanks for watching the video team and happy learning.